Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make an author box on your WordPress website. This is very easily done and this isn't just a picture that I put in here. This is a bunch of PHP and CSS that'll find the author of the post, it'll grab their Gravatar, and it'll get their bio from their settings or their profile settings page. We also have their name and their it's a just it's a nice box and it looks really nice with most of, a lot of themes. Well, first what we're going to do is we are going to head into our theme. We're going to FTP into it or you could do it directly on your blog. I recommend FTPing into it. So, we're going to head over to our theme and my current theme is Mayumi. I'm not sure if that's pronounced right. But we are going to download the single .php because that is a single post, is what I am looking at right here, is a single. And then we're going to download a CS CSS file. Now, style CSS for me, this is not what I want. For me, I want to go into CSS and I want to go into color CSS. Your theme is completely different. It might just be style CSS. Most themes, it's style CSS. So download that first and try what we're doing and if that doesn't work then download another CSS file for me color CSS that's all we need to download and now what we're going to do is we're gonna open up that file first we're gonna open up single.php and we're gonna tell our WordPress blog to find the offer information to find the gravatar and to find who wrote the post so for me let's just search really quickly so I don't have to scroll around here it is um, this is what already came with my theme, and I didn't really like their author box, so I decided to make my own. This is my author box right here. This is what you see right here, and including become an author, you could easily get that out of there. And what I'm going to do to make this very easy for you guys is I'm going to just add these codes to the blog post, which I will attach to the video description. So what we're doing right now is if function exists, get avatar. That is getting our gravatar and it's getting it from the email. So your gravatar is hooked up to your email and whoever made the post, you want their email that they signed up for your blog in, kind of getting a little confusing here. You want that email that they signed up for the blog to be the same as they use for gravatar. That way they can interact with each other. 80 is our pixel size and header four about the author that is just standard text and right here we are getting the author's name and URL their website URL for Dylan it links to his um, Twitter page and that could easily be configured in your wp-admin and then you go to user settings so we just grabbed their name from wp-admin and now we're gonna grab their bio which they also entered hopefully on their user page that is right here is PHP the author made a description and now that is the end of the author box I just added something in here that says become an author and if you do want to become an author just click this link or head over to billymcgovern.com slash apply send me a guest post and I will maybe accept you maybe I won't you have to have um, some, a little bit of experience with blocking. Now that we have done that, we are going to save that and we are going to upload it FTP and we are going to override our single.php. When you first upload it, you're going to notice it's going to be really ugly. Nothing's going to be aligned and it's just, you're, you don't want to give up here. This is where CSS comes into play and makes it look really nice. So now we are going to go to downloads, color.css, well this is for me. And again, I am going to search author just for the sake of the video. And again, like I mentioned before, I'm going to have all these codes in a blog post. Now, author box. This is a lot of stuff that we're doing here in the CSS. Right here is this is just the box. This is what the image is behind it and the background URL, or not the background URL, the background color and all of that jazz. This is our margins. This makes it center aligned. This is the border, which wraps around here so you can see a little bit of gray right there. And this is the margin on the bottom. I added that in there because otherwise this text would be right on top of that and that's not what I want. So you could use these settings. I recommend that you has, uh, use everything that I do and it'll work out just great. You may want to change, you might want to change your background color. Right now I'm using a pretty yellow theme so I have a yellow background. You can change that to a gray, black, or whatever color, and you can leave it at white. That would be FF or F six times. Just do that. 
author box header four. Now this is about the author right here. That's what we have as header and four, and I believe his name is header four too. This is our size, color, margins, and all that jazz, the padding that is around it. We're going to head over to the actual image or his gravatar. I added a little bit in here to make sure that everything works out right. So the border, 10 pixels solid, I added that. Otherwise, if you have a little too much text and it goes down there, the text moves over there. So I had to, I added this um, a 10 pixel box that wraps around the entire image which allows you to go down a little further without going underneath the image. Of course if you have a huge bio it's going to go underneath the image but this is just a prevental so that doesn't happen. So what I did was take the background color and I just did the same thing with the border so it lines up and you really you can't even tell there's a border there. We have our margin which tells the box how far away to be and tells the text how far away to be. We have padding which is basically another way to wrap around the image. And float left makes the image go to the left and allows text to be on the right at the same time. Right here we have our text color, margin, and padding. Just copy that, that's probably what you want anyways. And right here we have our link hover co color. As you'll see right there, it turns gray every time I hover over a link, and that is the color code right there. Now we're just going to save this, and we again are going to upload this to our FTP client, to our website, to our theme. And when you're done, make sure you clean your cache just so you, you don't think that, um, oh, no, this didn't work. I followed all your steps, Billy, but it's not working. Clear the cache in Safari, Google Chrome, whatever you're doing. For some reason, Safari, like Safari, all these browsers like keeping the CSS. They'll clear the PHP with um, WP Super Cache, which is the caching most people use on their website. But you also have to clear the CSS, and you can do that easily by clicking Safari, Empty Cache, or with Google Chrome by clicking Google Chrome reset browsing data and then you can choose what you want to delete. I hope you guys enjoyed another WordPress tutorial. Apparently a lot of you guys out there like WordPress tutorials so I'll keep doing them. Make sure to stay subscribed for future updates. Thanks guys!